hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to solve a problem that is how to find fourier series when the given function having point of discontinuity so we will solve one question find fourier series for f of x which is equal to cos x when x is a lies between minus pi to 0 and minus cos x when x is a lies between 0 to pi. Find Fourier series for that function. Okay, so now we can see here the limit is minus pi to plus pi. For minus pi to plus pi, first of all we have to check that function is an even function, function is or function, or function is in that category that is neither even nor or. Then we will uh, discuss that part how to find value of a0, an and b. So first of all the limit is in splitting form. Splitting form means that minus pi to 0 function behave like a cos x and 0 to pi the function is behave like minus cos x. So first of all we will check what is the value of f of minus x. So f of minus x is equal to we have to put minus at the place of x. Okay cos minus x minus cos minus x minus pi minus x 0 0 minus x pi okay so f of minus x is equal to cos of minus x is cos x cos of minus x is cos x and this limit is minus pi minus x 0 0 minus x pi we can rewrite this limit by multiplying negative you can say so multiplying negative inside so it will be pi negative less than sign x 0 and this 0 greater than x minus 1. So this is your function of minus x. So f of minus x is equal to cos x when x is a lies between 0 to pi and minus cos x when x is a lies between now you can see here 0 is less than x is less than minus pi so we can write minus pi greater than 0 okay so when you see the function with your given problem so cos of minus x is lies between my x 0 and cos x is lies between when x is a lies between 0 to pi and when you compare with your given function so what is your given function given function is f of x which is equal to cos x when x is a lies between minus pi to 0 and minus cos x when x is a lies between 0 to pi and you can see the difference your f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x because here you have a minus cos x here you have a positive here you have a positive and in f of x it is negative so this is in split limit or in discontinued function this function is what this function is or function okay and when it is or function we can comment that our value of a0 is 0, a value of an is also equal to 0. So we have to find only value of bn. Your value of bn is equal to 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. So bn is equal to 2 upon pi and 0 to pi now what is the value of function when the limit is 0 to pi so according to your given question the value is minus cos x okay a 
according to given problem it is mine you can see the function f of x when it is 0 x is a lies between 0 to pi your function is minus cos x and multiplied with sin nx dx okay so this is again so negative sign is there 0 to pi you can write as sin a cos b or cos a sin b so this is cos a sin b formula okay so let's revise what is cos a sin b formula so cos a sin b is equal to half of sin a plus b minus because cos a sin b there is negative and in sin a cos b it is positive okay minus sin a minus b so this is our formula of cos a sin b half of sin a plus b minus sin a minus b so we will put the value in formula integration sin a plus b a plus b means 1 plus n x minus sin a minus b 1 minus n x okay and divided by 2 so we will write here with respect to dx minus 1 upon pi since this n is goes to 1 to infinity so we will write this term as 1 and minus 1 okay so n plus 1 so the sign will not change because it is positive sign but here we will change the sign n minus 1 okay because n is goes from 1 to infinity so n is greater equal to 1 so this will be we will write n minus 1 with respect to dx since sine of minus theta which is equal to minus sine theta. So now we will solve the integration. So integration of sine x which is equal to minus cos n plus 1x divided by n plus 1 and integration of this part again minus cos n minus 1x divided by n minus 1. And the integration limit is 0 to pi. So minus 1 upon pi. When you put the upper limit it will be cos n plus 1 pi divided by n plus 1 minus cos n minus 1 pi divided by n minus 1 minus the lower limit. So cos 0 is 1 so I will write with all the sign so this is upper limit minus low so so many negative sign here so we can take negative sign outside the bracket so it will be positive cos n plus 1 pi divided by n plus 1 plus cos n minus 1 pi divided by n minus 1 So again negative sign so it will be negative and plus 1 and this is again negative and minus 1. So now the case is depending upon what is n over here. So first case we will take case 1 when n is even. So when n is even so n plus 1 is odd function ok so value of b n will be 1 upon pi n plus 1 is odd so minus n plus 1 minus n minus 1 minus n plus 1 minus n minus ok n plus 1 is odd n minus 1 is also odd function. 
so 1 upon minus 2 upon n plus 1 minus 2 upon n minus 1 so we can write minus 2 upon pi 1 plus n plus 1 minus n minus 1. So this is again equal to minus 2 upon pi. Take LCM so it is n plus 1 into n minus 1. n minus 1 minus n plus 1. So the value is n minus 1 minus n minus 1 divided by n square minus 1 square and this is equal to minus 2 and inside the bracket again we have a minus 2 n to n cancel minus 2 divided by pi n square minus 1 so value of bn which is equal to 4 upon pi into n square minus 1 when n is even. So case 2 when n is odd. So when n is odd there implies n plus 1 and n minus 1 is even. So when n is odd the value will be 1 upon pi. This is even function. So even function means positive value. So positive n plus 1 plus positive n minus 1. And this is negative n plus 1, negative n minus 1. So value of bn is equal to 0 when it is odd function. But now you can see we have to solve for n is equal to 1 because n cannot be 1 for this bn value. Because you can see the denominator is n minus 1. So when n is equal to 1, your bn will be infinite. So when n is equal to 1, b1 is equal to 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx so n is equal to 1 so sin x dx so 2 upon pi in a 0 to pi our function is minus cos x into sin x dx so this is again sin a cos b or you can say this is formula of sin 2x which is equal to 2 sin x cos x yeah, sin 2 theta 2 sin theta cos theta okay so this is formula of sin 2x divided by 2 since we know that sin 2 theta which is equal to 2 into sin theta cos theta b1 is equal to 1 upon pi 0 to pi sin 2x dx so b1 is equal to 1 upon pi sin is minus cos 2x divided by 2 and limit is 0 to pi b1 is equal to 1 upon pi minus cos 2 pi divided by 2 minus cos 0 divided by 2 upper limit minus b1 final value is minus 1 upon pi cos 2 pi is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So value of b1 is also equal to 0. So we solve for three cases when n is even, when n is odd, when n is equal to 1. So now we have to put all the value together. So b f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx. So n is equal to 1 to infinity. So we will solve this thing. When n is equal to 1, it is b1 sin x. When n is equal to 2, b2 sin 2x. When n is equal to 3, b3 sin 3x. b4 sin 4x. 
b5 sin 5x and so on. So value of b1 is 0, value of b2 when n is equal to 2, so value is 4 upon pi 2 square minus 1 sin 4x. b3 when n is equal to 3 function is odd, so the value is 0. b4 4 upon pi 4 square minus 1 sin 4x. 5 when it is 0 and so for 6 you can write 4 upon pi 6 square minus 1 sin 6. So f of x, f of x is equal to 4 upon pi you can take common sin 2x divided by 3 plus sin 4x 4 square that is 16 minus 1, 15 plus sin 6x, 6 square that is 36 minus 1, 35 and so on. So this is your final value of f of x for the function in split limit or you can say when the function having point of discontinuity.